Our topic for today is how to move FANUC robot through a routine or a program. At the end of this video, I will attach how to jog FANUC robot so that you will know how to control robot manually. Let's get started. Press which routine in a program you want to run. The at sign is where the robot is in the program and the black symbol or cursor is where the robot to land a forward key is pressed. To step robot line to line in a program, press the step key once. Step status color turn to green means program is enabled. To run the robot through all the program, press the step key once. Step status color will turn green. Status color will turn to green when enabled. To run robot through all the program or from start to end, press the step key once. Step status color will turn green. Press the shift key together with the dead man switch at the back of the touch pendant. And then press either forward or backward key once. And to stop the robot, press the hold button or release the dead man switch at the back of the touch pendant. Our topic for today is how to jog FANUC robot. In a robot system, you may need to jog the robot in the following scenario. If the robot needs to be moved for maintenance, and if you want to teach a position of the robot. First thing first, we're gonna put the controller in manual mode and switch on the teach pendant to enable. And then press the dead man switch in the center to override the safety circuit of the door. And then press the reset button to clear the alarm. To simply move the robot is to move axis one by one, axis by axis. I'm going to move uh, X positive. So I'm going to move X negative. I'm going to move Y negative. I'm going to move Z negative. I'm going to move Z positive. J, J4, joint number 4, axis number 4, axis positive, axis 5, joint 5 negative, joint 5 positive, joint 6 negative, Going six negative positive. This is axis number one located at the base of the robot, and it allows the robot to rotate from left to right, and it can rotate 180 degrees from the center. Axis number two allow the first arm to extend forward and backward. Axis number three, it allows the second arm or upper arm to raise and lower and extend vertical reach. Axis number four, it's also known as rest. It rotates the upper arm in circular motion, clockwise and counterclockwise. Axis number five, this allows the rest of the robot arm to tilt up and down. Axis number six, this is the rest of the robot arm and it will rotate in circular motion and it is capable of rotating more than 360 degrees in rotation. 